long ago, on a little branch line, there used to be an engine that used to run it. His name was called Stepney. Nee. He was a he loved his branch line and his coaches, but not all good. It's happened forever. Something terrible happened. Mm -mm. The modernization plan was put into action. And steam engines, including Stephanie, were withdrawn from service. And Stephanie was even taken to a scrapyard. But he wasn't there for long. Stephanie was bought by the Bluebell Railway. What? See ya, sucker! I'll get you one day. The grand opening came. I declare the Bluebell Railway officially open. Hooray! Yay! Stephanie pulled in with his three new coaches. Whoa, I'm very excited. Hey you! Shut up! Oh, hello there. You must be at one of the railway buses. I'm Stephanie. I don't care. I hate railways. One day's railways should be ripped up and turned into roads. Why are you saying to this to me? I'm Gary. Well, it's nice to meet you, Gary. But that's no way to treat someone. I don't care. I hate you. You're a waste of money. You are a big, fat, ugly-looking version of the steamrollers and the traction engines. Now, find a museum or a scrapyard, you useless old kettle. Wow, that was harsh. Come on, Stephanie, it's time to go. Okay, driver. And we are at Sheffield Park. Huh? What are you doing here? You're too slow. Me and my siblings are doing your work now. You're too ugly and slow. Ha ha, find a scrapyard. Don't listen to him, Stepney. He's just jealous. I hope so, driver. Stepney backed into his new shed. The controller came up to him. Hello, Stepney. What's wrong? It's that boss. He's been so rude to me. Oh, Gary. I was warned by him. By his owner. Is he always like that? I'm afraid so. He hates heritage railways and they think it's a rubbish idea. But you'll always have a home here, Stepney. Of course, driver. Of, of course, sir. Thank you, everyone. A few days later, the Bluebell had enough money to buy a second engine. The engine was a Great Western engine. Hello there, I'm Jerry. Nice to meet you, Jerry. I'm Stephanie. I think the two of us will get along very well. The next day, Jerry was at the station when Jerry rode up. Shh, what's this? The Bluebell f r Rare Poop has finally got another steam locomotive. You belong in a museum or the scrapyard, not working in a heritage railway. Free the roads! Free the roads! That's a horrid bus. They told Stephanie, that's scary, Jerry. He's not that very nice. I Tell me about it. A few days later, Stephanie was traveling through the countryside when... Stop, Stephanie! There was a bus, but it wasn't Gary. Are you okay? Uh, help, please. Please, I, I crashed. What's your name? Stu. Please help me, please. Of course. The tow truck managed to get Stu out of the way. Stu said thank you to Stephanie. Well, he was more nicer than Gary. One day, when Stephanie reached Sheffield Park, many people were all around the platform. Whoa, what's going on? I heard the accident was Stu. It turns out, no one wants to ride the buses anymore. But he wants to ride you safer engines. 
Well, maybe that's a good thing. For you anyways, I only have a little bunch left. But we're both equal. Bah! I don't need this. You and your stupid Jerry. Have fun on your stupid heritage rail for the rest of your stupid lives. I don't need it. Ciao! That bus is the meanest, rudest bus I have ever met. You can say that again, Jerry. But something happened a few days, a week later. The next week, Stephanie was traveling through. When he was passing through the little city, he saw Gary. Gary had a flat tire and he crashed. Is anything okay? What do you care? I'm just asking. But then, he blew, Gary blew his horn. Stop! What is it now, Gary? I have passengers there. You can have them. They need to get to, to the to the first station. Of course. Hop in, everyone. We don't want anyone to get lost at home. Bye, Gary. I'm sure someone will help you. The next day, Stephanie and... Jerry were at the first station when Gary rode up. Oh, look, it's the king of the roads. Um, Stephanie and Jerry, I'm sorry. You're sorry? Yes, I'm sorry to the way I acted. Everyone except for Stu make fun of me. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. Yeah, and they made me realise... When I make fun of others, it made me feel bad. How do you not see that in the first place? I don't know, I was just homesick. I miss the big city of London. I understand. It could, it could, it'll take time for to make this place your new home. But we'll all be friends soon. Yeah, I and I'll never ever be rude to any of you again. I promise. Everyone was happy. Gary wasn't a horrid bus anymore, and Stephanie and Jerry made a brand new friend.